Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And remember guys, this is for adults. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. Find all the photos that you want of these videos. What's up, you guys? It's Zach Jack Dan back with another top 10 list. This time we're talking about the top 10 best toy reveals of the week. This may be a recurring video. If you guys enjoy it, let me know. Let's get started. So first things first, I'm going to go through all the reveals that did not make the top 10 and did not make honorable mention so we can be aware of what was revealed this week so stay tuned and we'll get to the honorable mentions and the top 10 but here we go so let's start off talking about the justice league snyder cut mcfarland toys dark side deluxe figure here it is spinning around in circles here so you can see all sides of it very exciting but i do want to see the one with the chest plate Next, we finally get the nice images of the helmeting cyborg, which is a Walmart exclusive. It comes with the figure stand, the blaster that you can switch the arm out there, and of course the card, front and back of the package here. And you know McFarlane, he is going to give a variant, so this is the face shield variant, and you have the regular version with his face showing as well, which you can get anywhere. Here he is from all four sides. Three of them with the blaster on, one of them with the blaster removed and just the hand there instead. And then speaking of McFarlane and variants, here is a variant of the Shriek figure. This one does not have the Build-A-Figure piece in it. This is the unmasked version of him. He's got the same blast effects, the figure stand, the card. So everything is the exact same except for the head swap. So I don't know what you guys think, but this is kind of frustrating with as much as they're doing this and with McFarlane. I like the way his hands grab through those uh, effects there, that's pretty cool. Alright, so Blitzway is, as was known for putting out the Inspector Gadget figures, which looked really awesome, uh, but now we are getting Where's Waldo or Where's Wally. Uh, three different versions, you got the two of them that are 1 12th scale, one of them is a regular one with just the stand and the cane, the other one is the deluxe, and then we have the 1 6th scale, which is the soft goods, and I'll show you two of these. So here's that 112 scale deluxe figure, plastic clothing. Comes with the book, the stand, the dog, all kinds of attachments for his journey. So here's a nice write up on this figure. I'll let you pause it and read up on this if you want to. All the accessories that it comes with. Again, if you want to pause it and read up on what all it comes with, you can. Comes with this nice book set. Got that magnet in the back so it can be held to his stand. coffee cup, a bag of her shoulder, all kinds of goodies, postcard, many, many books. There's his dog again. Don't know what you guys think about this, if you're a Where's Waldo fan or not, but this is kind of cool. So here is the one six scale with the soft goods. Shows you it's kind of the exact same deluxe, but a little bit taller. Comes with a book that actually has a little swivel on it as well. They'll kind of line up or you can swivel it all off, off base there as well. Next thing we got, talking about hot toys, we got the best buddies, Sam Wilson and Bucky Barnes in these cause babies. So here is Bucky on his bike and Sam in the air or Falcon in the air with his goggles on, the wings spread. So there's your Anthony Mackie, cause baby bobblehead. And then there is your Sebastian Stan, Winter Soldier. Got a Beast Kingdom Batman reveal for the Dark Knight Returns, a little eight inch figure design here. Hot Toys showing off their Joker Snyder Cut figure. Of course, the gloves are the wrong color. This should have been yellow if it's Snyder Cut. Or orange, I'm not sure what it was, but it wasn't purple. We got a super-sized 
six inch previews exclusive Immortal Hulk figure here from Vinyl Pops. So CC Toys is putting out these one six scale figures here. Toravon is 210, Mike is 198, and so is Frank. Got all kinds of accessories that come with each one of them. Really nice detail, like the head sculpt on some of these. Got all kinds of attachments you can change out, or, or clothing you can change out, I should say. That's pretty awesome. Popeye 5 points of articulation. We've already seen this before, but here are the official images of it and its diorama that it comes with. You get olive oil, blue dough, and rough house as well. And his playset, cafe. So again, these are five points of articulation Mezco figures. Nice detail on them too, I like this. SH Monster Arts or SH Figure Arts from Tamashi Nation's got the 1989 Godzilla figure. We got your Boss Fight Studios, Legends of Lucha Libre, Ray Phoenix, and Penta Zero M. Also your um, Lucha Extrema set and your Lucha accessory kit here with the table and the chair. I did a full video on this if you want to go out and check out this Boss Fight Studio video I did. So I'm not going to go into too much detail on these. But Wave 2 looks like it's going to have Vampiro, Ultimo Dragon, Hijo del Perro Aguayo, and Black Taurus. We have the Marvel Hasbro Mech Strike 6 inch figures. I showed off one last week. Here's Cap and Iron Man. This is our second version of Cap, but these are individually carded versions here. There's your cap, front and back of the package, and your Iron Man. You also have this deluxe Mech Strike Hulkbuster Iron Man. So you can see how he sits in the armor, and you can see his other arms hanging out the bottom there. And you have a individually carded Black Panther Mech Strike as well. And then a Thanos one. Got that little blade on the side of the arm there. Also a Nerf shooter gun here, Captain America Shield. In package. Jumping into Space Jams, we have a new legacy figure from Moose Toys. So here is LeBron James, The Martian, and Bugs Bunny as well. And a little slam dunk toy for LeBron, LeBron James there. We got some new Lego Star Wars pieces here revealed. We got the Lego Star Wars Imperial Probe Droid 75306 collectible building toy, 683 pieces, 683 pieces, 94 dollars and 68. There it is being put together. Not too bad. Then you have the Star Wars Darth Vader helmet. 75304 collectible building toy, 834 pieces. This is $109.43. Wow. Legos are expensive. These things are gold. Taking it apart, putting it together. And lastly, you have the Star Wars Scout Trooper helmet, 75305, 471 pieces, $75.92. Crazy, guys. Look how small it is. How in the world are these things so expensive? All right, then we have Hasbro's animatronic interactor Star Wars Galactic snacking Grogu figure, or the child. You can feed him. Got the soft goods on him, and the spoon, all that good stuff. We have the new Funko Marvel X-Men Black Lights Target exclusive pop figures. Magneto, Rogue, Deadpool, and Gambit. Also Wolverine. We have the Spin Masters 4-inch Deathstroke versus Batman with back tech crawler set. There it is in package, both sides. We have the G.I. Joe Domez or Domes figures coming from Jazzwares. So you can stick them in the dome here for some reason. I'm not sure what this is all about. But you can, I guess, uh, collect, connect, display. That's what they're about. 
from Storm Collectibles. We have the Nakuru 112 scale figure from Storm Collectibles. Got her hawk, her sword, her bow in her hair, her knife. Nice action sequence here. Wing spread. So she can have the wings down or the wings spread, so that's pretty awesome. Then, people have been getting their HasLab Unicron figure. So here is the package. Both sides. One side's got the head floating, the other side's got the planet form. Here's the size comparison between Unicron and his brother. There's the Unicron versus the original Hasbro Unicron. The size comparison. Wow. Crazy. Hey, little brother. There he is compared to some of the Autobots and Decepticons there as well. Nice size comparison. And there's the top of that box. War for Cybertron Trilogy. So guys, I'm glad y'all got y'all's pre-order in. I did not get mine in though for this thing. This thing is massive and expensive. New Age H25 Herbie. Color stock images. Third party Transformers here. Nice shot of Bumblebee. In action. This is a really cool looking toy. Front and back of the figure. So also from New Age at the H26 Vanishing Point. Third party here. So this is the Cliff Jumper figure. He's got those nice skis on his uh, tires there. So that's pretty awesome. Front and back of the figure. Car form. Got that nice bazooka he comes with as well. Really nice figure from New Age Toys. Also from New Age, you got this SG, not SG, Megatron, whatever it's called. I'm not really sure what it's called, but nice comparison between the Galvatron that they did too. And then X Transbots MX4 Abaddon new concept images of unofficial masterpiece Galvatron third party. This is pretty awesome if this is what it looks like. Also from New Kingdom K-12 Commander Rodimus Prime images here with his trailer, so that's pretty awesome. Takara Mashby Skids color images here, Red Diaclone, so that's pretty cool. Then from Super 7, you got your Super Cyborg Transformers here, Sound Blaster images. Got the cassette that goes with him as well. You can take the front cover off and see his insides. Got the blaster. Some pretty cool stuff there. Flame Toys. Fury model. Windblade. Pre-orders are coming up on the 29th of March. You got your Sentinel Fighting Armor Deadpool preview images here. And then an EW Unrivaled from Jazzwares got the ring here. This is a UK exclusive for, with the Cody Rhodes figure in it. Got those silver trunks and the red boots on this Cody Rhodes. And then what I thought was going to be the Series 2 figure number 14, a Kenny Omega figure in these green pants, ended up not being this Chase figure. They ended up throwing this figure in the ring instead. And this ring is a ringside exclusive property here. So there he is in the ring. Kenny Omega. Black and green trunks. There's the back of that package. And lastly, we have the Loyal Subjects Best Action Rock and Roll with the Spaceman Destroyer Tour Kiss figure here. So jumping into the honorable mentions for the week. So we did have WonderCon over the weekend. There wasn't a lot that they showed off, but we did show a few more images of the McFarlane stuff we're getting for Spawn. 
Gives you a nice shot of, I think this is Violator. And some concept art of what he's doing with this. We will be getting the Pulse Fan Feast, or Fan Fest, April 9th. That will be a feast for us too, I guess, with all the reveals we're going to be getting. As we're leaking some Kingdom Golden Deluxe Terrasaur here from the War for Cybertron. So there's the Terrasaur we're going to be getting. And also Ranger Puffer, which is pipes. So I don't know what these are going to look like, but we'll see what they when we get them out there. Also, I wanted to give you guys a little heads up. I was on Instagram and I saw this, what I thought was a pop figure for the Justice League Future Flash here. And come to find out, this is a concept art from this guy, Pop Eyes. So Pop Eyes concept. You guys got to get out there on Instagram and check this out. These guy, this guy's got some nice custom uh, vinyl pops out there that he could give for you there. So that's pretty awesome. Says he does some commissions as well. So get out there and check him out. And then lastly, just wanted to, Ron will mention, mention the fact that I watched the Suicide Squad second trailer there, and yeah, I'm excited about it now. Uh, so here are some teasing of this McFarlane stuff we're going to be getting, the mega figure of the King Shark, Gold Label, the Harley Quinn figure, Bloodsport with and without his mask, Peacemaker with and without his mask, and Polka Dot Man. So the fact we're only getting five characters, two of them as variants without their masks, Makes me think, well, what are they going to do about all the other ones? Because you know they're in the movie too. You know they got to get some love. I don't know. We'll see what McFarlane does with that. So here we are at the top ten part of the week. So here are the top ten best toy reveals of the week. So at number ten for the week, we're going to go with the Jazzwear Series Six reveals. I know they're not painted yet, but here's your Chris Jericho, your Ikara Shida, and Jake Hager for the first time. MJF, Ray Phoenix for the second time, and Penta L0M for the second time. Gotta love these reveals when they do these black and white versions, and I can't wait till they see them in color as well. At number 9, Hasbro's jumping in the Fortnite territory. This is a 6 inch Foundation Zero Crisis Edition figure, 40 bucks. Got that weird umbrella, the cape on his back there. We'll see where this goes with this Fortnite stuff with Hasbro. Number eight, got a little spoiler alert, so if you don't want to see anything about the Falcon and Winter Soldier, you may want to pause it or fast forward real quick, 20 seconds. But we have the Marvel Select Falcon and Winter Soldier figures here. I don't know how much a spoiler this is for the movie, but or for the show, I should say, but here is Falcon in his blue and red colors, as if he's getting the shield back. Disney Store exclusive for these two. And then also with Marvel Legends, you got the Baron Zemo, the Winter Soldier, and the US Agent. And also the fact that we have Falcon Wings as the build a figure. Number seven from Mortal Kombat McFarlane Toys Gold Label, you have the Curse of Apocalypse skin for Spawn. Nice yellow and black, got the mace figure uh, with this figure. And number six, Transformers Kingdom, you got your Galvatron. All kinds of images of this guy. Here he is compared to some other figures. Get you a nice comparison in size. Going against Ultra Magnus. All kinds of different angles on him. Got the matrix around his neck there. From the back, see the treads. Nice cannon on his arm. He's got a little battle damage on his chest there. Blasters on his arms there. Here he is in tank form or blaster form, whatever you call it. And some more size comparisons. And going up against Rodimus. And number five, Bloodborne Figma Hunter reissue here from Good Smile Studios. This is the basic one for $58.99. Got those two weapons. So here is the old hunter figure, which is more of a deluxe figure with all kinds of weapons, axes, guns. You see right here all those weapons, the hands, the base, nice swords. Crazy how much this guy's coming with. And here with this worldly gear that he has, this guy is $122 here. 
open this whirly jig right here. But then you got a hunter's weapon set as well. That's $37.99. Got those same weapons just alone. So pretty cool weapons. Nice paint job on them all. And then as a bonus, we have the Bloodborne Messengers bonus item here. Ordering directly from Good Smile, you get this guy right here. January 2022. So number four, we got some hot toys here. Pause for the read up here if you want it. But here is the Winter Soldier. Got the nice leather looking costume there with his arm sticking out. Very good looking Sebastian Stan head sculpt here. There's his boots. Nice afternoon shadow there, or five o'clock shadow, whatever you call it. Love hot toys. Got his gun as well. Cool hair sculpt as well, I like that. Figure stand too. And number three, if you want to read up on it from Mezco 112th Collective here, you have your Snyder Cut Justice League Steel Box Set. And this is the Batman, the Flash, and the Black and Silver Super. So here is your Ben Affleck, which looks nothing like Ben Affleck in that head sculpt. Batman here, with all kinds of batarangs, grapple hooks, guns, and also the... Parademon Blaster there. Figure stand, soft goods. Here's your Ezra Miller Flash. Two different mast head sculpts there. Got the lightning effects that comes with him as well, so that's pretty awesome. Figure stand. And then lastly, you got your Henry Cavill Superman here. Got the laser light up eyes there, the mother box. Interchangeable hands, figure stand. And number two from Flashpoint. We have a third party Visus or Vision figure from WandaVision. So you got your regular release and your deluxe version. Either one of them are great figures. But I do like the deluxe because of the head sculpts and the Halloween costume it comes with. With the standard release, you get just the regular suit and regular head sculpt figure stand. So that's pretty awesome. I'd like to see what it looks like underneath if it's actually just a Vision costume underneath as well. So you can actually have the regular Vision and not just these clothing versions of him. And here is the deluxe. You got the babies, you got the Halloween costume, and you got the dead head. So that's pretty awesome. So here's that dead head with a stone missing. Here's the babies. And it also comes with a suit as well from the standard version. Halloween costume, nice soft goods, jogging shorts, Converse shoes. And at number one, of course you guys guessed it, if you want to read up on what NECA has to say about this, we have the NECA Gargoyles Goliath figure. Everybody was excited and talking about this this week. You got this nice head sculpt here, two different ones, one angry, one stoic. You got the book, nice wingspan on this guy, seven inch figure. Got the tail on the back there as well. Disney's Gargoyles animated series. Looking forward to this figure. Hopefully there's no paint flaws in the joints like we have with our neck of turtles. Love that hair going off the back there. The horns off his head. There's that tail from the side if you don't see it. Comes with a pepper. Like I said, the book. There's just two different head sculpts. And you just actually swap out the face plate instead of the whole head. So that's pretty ingenuitive there of them. And then what does NECA have to say about all the excitement for this guy? They have five more figures completed and ready for development. And guys, go out there to Disney Plus if you haven't seen this show yet and get familiar with it. Because we were probably going to get a whole line of these Gargoyles figures. But Goliath is our first. So guys, what do y'all think about this top 10 list for the week? mentions? Would you guys have put one of the other ones on this list? Did you enjoy this week's reveals? Let me know in the comments. 
So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of the top 10 best toy reveals of the week. Leave any kind of comments that you want. Hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find all the photos that you want of these videos.